Good morning, St. Pius. I'm Josh Revenue. And I'm Hope Swoney. Today, our announcements include sports talk with Cole and Gino, as well as a surprise senior skip day. So, I'm not here today. Mrs. Wilson, I'm very sorry for letting you down. I'm sorry. But anyway, our top announcement today is actually about senior finals, which will be not held next week, but the following on Monday and Tuesday. Um, hours 5, 6, and 7 will be held on Monday, starting at 11.15 a.m., so arrive then. And Tuesday will be hours 1, 2, 3, and 4, and you should arrive at 7.50, and then following that, we will go straight towards St. Therese for graduation practice at 11.30. And stay tuned for the rest of the announcements, because you're watching The, the X, X Factor. Factor. Now let's head over to Sports Talk with Cole and Gino. Welcome back to this week's Sports X Factor. I'm Cole Elling being joined by Gino Monacchino. Gino, what do we got on the platter for today? Uh, we got baseball. Uh, we got an interview with one of the freshmen, uh, Luke Foyt. So uh, let's go over to Luke and see what he has to say. Our season is going all right. I mean, I think we've won a couple games. We've had a lot of rainouts. Varsity, uh, people with Jack Starts doing uh, good pitching. Uh, Vic, Johnny, Thomas, Jake, all doing pretty good. We're starting to head in the right direction. Uh, so as far as uh, uh, people go, uh, on JV, uh, Dom Ross, uh, uh, Lou Biscari, Caleb Power, and me, we're doing pretty good, hitting-wise, defense, pretty, pretty solid. Uh, right now, I'm uh, batting 727. <laughs> An interesting interview there, Gina. I know uh, baseball has not gone off to the start they wish they would have, um, but at the same time, they've had some good conference victories, and with that, they've played a lot of big schools. Yeah, it's, it's just been a tough start. Uh, Playing, going up against bigger schools is always hard, more more kids. Uh, yeah, Fort Osage game was a little uh, tough, and it wasn't the outcome they wanted. And the Park Hill South game was, was closer than the Fort Osage game, but still not the outcome uh, they wanted. Yeah, so let's wish them luck, and hopefully you guys can make out some baseball games, wrap up the season, and on to the playoffs. That's all for today, so back to you. Hope. Oh, couldn't have said it better myself. Great show. Great, Great show, as always. Yes. <laughs> The saint of the day today is St. Conrad of Parsham. St. Conrad of Parsham served as a friary porter for 41 years. Anyone who came to see the friary in Alto Edding would have met St. Conrad as he greeted them at the door. Such a role may not sound like much, but St. Conrad turned it into a true ministry of love and service. Welcome to Familiar Faces Friday. I'm Josh Revenue, and I'm joined by Nat Bose and Andrew Klepper, and they have started an accessory business called... Oh, Lucent Inc. Lucent Inc. So we're here to gather some more information and get some advice on business. So my first question for you guys is, um, how did you get started and why bracelets? Well, um, you see, I've always had like a love for business and, you know, I thought like doing a bracelet company would be relatively easy, simple, and I want to get started, get some experience in like the whole business field. I plan on pursuing business like as a career in my future, so I just thought it'd be a good way to start and I just enjoy it right that's a great answer and now what do you would you say the biggest complication that you guys have run into well really just getting an online presence and kind of getting followers on Instagram and mainly advertising it can be hard to get people to see it advertising and what kind of ways do you um, advertise right now well we have an Instagram and we have a Facebook and we have a Twitter and you can follow us on Instagram at Lucent Inc that's L-U-C-E-N-T period I-N-C and Twitter and Twitter, how about that? So what does the name um, Lucent actually mean? It means to give off light. Okay, very interesting. It's like the whole theme that we follow with our business. Right, right. So I do understand that you guys have brought some products to show yes, us. So, we have. Oh, wow, look Lots at all of that. Different products. We have around like, between like 45 and 50 different ones. So um, a wide, wide range of bracelets to choose so from. So there's really one for each individual. And is this a, uh, your bag? Yeah, um, wow. just like a nice little like cloth bag. Right. Um, pretty sturdy, good, good quality. 
Just keeps it in there. It's and we also have our logo, logo. on the bag. Yes. Each wow. bracelet comes with a bag. Well, that's awesome. Um, I appreciate you guys being on the show. And you said Instagram is what again? L-U-C-E-N-T period I-N-C. Okay. And when do you guys plan on launching your website? Um, probably like next week. Next early next week. week. Early next week. Yep. Well, that's fantastic. Well, guys, I appreciate you being on the show. Thanks again, Andrew. And we are back to the X Factor. And now we have a note from Miss Smith regarding Olympic Day. Um, check your emails for the schedule for Olympic Day, which is next Friday on 4-27-2018. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask Ms. Smith or the student council member in charge of the event. And school will be held um, from 8.30 to 12.15-ish. There's a Jeans Day next Thursday for $5. It'll all go to the Brandon Russell Memorial Fund. Mm. And I believe Thursday is actually the last full day of school for the seniors. Hope so. Gonna miss them. I know. What a way yeah. to go out with some jeans. Tonight for athletic events, we have uh, the 3 p.m. JV and Varsity Trek, and they will be at Excelsior Springs Invitational. And uh, 4.30, we have the JV Baseball Doubleheader at Warrensburg. So go out and support if you can. Lunch for today is ravioli and mozzarella sticks. And Hope, I believe that is all the news that we have for today. We'll see you on Monday. And don't forget, it is Senior Skip. Stay classy, St. Pius.